me wonder who you might have been playing with makes me wonder who so you guys like the last lash with me so much i decided to do another one i am working on a light volume fill but this is going to be a wet set so a wet set is just it, it kind of looks like a classic set but fuller so for her since it's light volume or hybrid i go in with 50 percent classic lashes and then the other 50 cent 50% would be volume lash extensions. However, instead of an open fan, they are all closed fans. So it just gives like a more natural, wispier look. She does, however, like her lashes pretty long. So I went in from a nine millimeter on the inner corner all the way out to a 14 millimeter. And I know that's not long to some people, but um, 13, 14, and 15 to me are pretty long. So yeah right here i'm just doing the banana peel method with the outgrown lashes and carefully removing them from the natural lash so i either pop them off at the base or sometimes i just do the peel method and take the natural lash in one tweezer and the extension in another and literally peel it down like a banana hence banana peel method so after i'm done with that i like to kind of clean up my area brush out the lashes and make sure that they're all back straight again so I can get a clearer view of any natural lashes that I need to add an extension to. And sometimes I just need to make sure I got everything, which I didn't. So I went back in, continued to um, remove any outgrown lashes. And this part, you're going to want to make sure you take your time with because some of them can be a little bit more stubborn. But if we go slow, then we are going to make sure that her natural lashes stay intact. As frustrating as it can be at times, just be patient with it. So now we're going to go in with our classic lashes and I wanted to demonstrate here um, after I placed that lash I propped it up again just to turn it into the right direction the direction I would like it to go in. So sometimes your natural lash is um, a curly lash or it grows downward and we want to help that lash go upward or in the right direction. So I'm going to place 50% classic lashes and then I will show you guys what my closed fans look like now closed fans are going to be there's a couple different ways you can do a closed fan you can take your bonder with a micro swab and you can swipe it across your whole lash strip or if you have a steady hand you can just go in and grab what you need just like you would with a volume fan and I grab more um, towards the tip rather than grabbing a little lower like how I would for a um, an open fan because I don't need to open it. So if I grab it closer to the tip, it'll already stay closed and then I just dip in my glue ring and wipe off the excess in the little ridges on the side. But um, some closed fans might have like a slight opening at the tip um they might be um more narrow fans so it depends on what kind of look you're going for you can even mix those in one look just to create more of like a fluffier more textured look so play around with your uh, sets especially if you have a client who's not scared to try something new and get creative with it don't be afraid to try something different if you are like me and you like to focus on one eye at a time i will say just make sure you're moving along the lash line that way you allow the lash extension that you just placed time to dry before you um go on to the lash near it 
So basically if I lay one like this one right here, I'm gonna lay that one down. And then I'm gonna take my tweezer after I've let it sit and dry for a second. And I'm gonna go in a different area. I don't wanna place right next to that lash just because um, I'm trying to avoid stickies. Sometimes stickies are unavoidable and um, that is the reason why we go back in and check our work. But this just allows you to create less of those stickies. So I just like to move around the eye and get any um, natural lashes. And sometimes I'll also use my tweezer to kind of lift the lashes. And once I come across an example of that, I'll point it out. And don't be afraid to use your fingers to um, to give you just like a, a little bit of extra help. Sometimes just placing those two tweezers um, where you need is not enough. And you might need a little finger to help guide the lashes where you would like them to go. And this is where I was saying I lift, I use my um, tweezers to help lift the lash so that I can expose more natural lashes underneath. That is another option or technique that you can use instead of um, placing tape to lift. Now, I don't have a problem with the taping method. However, you're gonna wanna make sure you have some tape that's not as sticky. You might even wanna take a little bit of that residue off on the back of your hand before placing on the client's lash extensions because sometimes they will still get stuck. Um, and you always want to make sure you remove that gently and use your tweezer if you need to to assist but using your tweezers to help lift will allow you to see get a better view of what's underneath and what you might be missing so I typically don't need any assistance with the tape um, in order to grab those layers I can usually just do my technique and um, be able to still see what's underneath um, the tape has its time and place for me uh, and maybe I'll do another video where I am using the tape so that I can pull back layers but I typically only do that if um, I have a client who has a good amount of layers like three and up you know but two layers I don't really need sometimes three I don't even need the assistance but three and up it's a good technique to use Sometimes we had less compared to some of my niggas down the block, man. We were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I'll be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind. Cause pain still lingers on mine. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is. Am I the only one who thinks it's so satisfying to watch? an artist isolate i don't know what it is like the way the tweezers move along the lash line while you're trying to find the natural lash and then finally exposing it i don't know why i like seeing that hard times without the people you love i'm not sure what's about to happen next i ask for straight from the lord because i've been strong so far but i can feel my grip loosening quick do something before you lose it for good get it back and use it for good and touch the people how you did like before i'm tired of living with demons because they always invite you more think being broke was better now i don't mean that phrase with no disrespect to all my niggas out there living in debt cash and minimal checks turn on the tv see a nigga rolex and fantasize about a life with no stress i mean it's just sincerely and as a nigga who was once in your shoes living with nothing to lose i hope one day you hear me always gonna be a bigger house somewhere but nigga feel me long as the people win that motherfucker love you dearly always gonna be a whip that's better than the one you got always gonna be some clothes that's fresher than the ones you rap always gonna be a bitch that's better out there on the tour but you ain't never gonna be happy till you love yours such thing as a life that's better than yours love yours such thing as a life that's better than yours love yours such thing as a life that's better than yours love yours such thing as a life that's better than yours love yours such thing as a life that's better than yours love yours such thing as a life that's better than yours love yours such thing as a life that's better than yours
Heart beating fast, let a nigga know that he alive Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass Let a nigga know that he arrived I tried to get like really good angles for you guys and so you can kind of view my work on from different angles and see get a better pr perspective of what I'm doing hopefully that is what I did here and as you can see I have that um tape above her lid I don't know if I talked about that earlier but if I did I'll say it again um just to pull back a little bit of that skin she doesn't have like um a lot of skin on her lid but I wanted to lift the eye just slightly and as you can see her eye is still closed but it still lifts it so that it's not sitting directly on the lash pad sometimes that drives me crazy and I'll have to go in with my tweezer if I didn't tape I'll have to go in my with my tweezer even more to um, lift her natural lashes up so that I can get because I lash underneath I lash from underneath and so I need to get under there so lifting that eye up off of the gel pad just helps assist me and be able to put my lashes from underneath and you can place your extension underneath or on top it's a preference thing I don't think one is um, better than the other just whatever works for you now the inner corners and outer corners can be difficult for especially for new lash artists um, but they can also be difficult for seasoned lash uh, artists depending on the client's eye shape so don't be afraid to go in with your tape if you feel like it's taking too long or it's getting you frustrated to separate those lashes on the inner corner or outer corner i don't know if i have a video or if i have a clip in here where i did that if so i'll point it out if not i'll try to give an example of that in another video um on different taping techniques actually that's a good content idea isn't it And if you make mistakes or if you place the lash incorrectly or if it's just not looking the way you would like it to, go in with the banana peel method and remove it if need be. If it's not something that's going to mess up the lash look or be irritating to the client um, or possibly affect the natural lashes in any way, then just leave it. Make sure you're placing your lash extensions um, a little bit away from the um, natural lash line you don't want it butting up right on the lash line that is going to irritate your client it's going to cause an issue and you'll be getting a call from your client letting them know that they either want them removed or something's not feeling right so make sure you're leaving a little bit of room between the natural lash line and um, where you place the lash extension you also want to make sure you're avoiding placing the extension too far out on the natural lash. attempted to show you what the clothes fan looked like but I don't know if you can really tell the difference between the classic and the clothes fan especially with the way I held it up but I have moved on to the clothes fans now and we're gonna just place them everywhere we see a natural lash um, so there's always a debate on whether or not lash artists a hundred percent cover each lash and here's what I think for me personally the answer is no only because if I see a baby lash or a damaged lash I'm not putting an extension on it um, 
so that already like forfeits the idea of covering 100% of the lashes but on top of it it depends on what look I'm going for so if my client comes in and she wants a really natural full set and let's just say for example classics right classics are already deemed to be um, natural they're the most natural um set you can get right but if you have a client who has a very very full lash line however her natural lashes are just not deep dark so you can't really tell just um from what her natural eye looks like once you place those classics up there it's going to be very full so it might be shocking to the eye of a client who never wears makeup or maybe this is her first time getting extensions so you might want to leave a few natural lashes out of the equation depending on your client what their lifestyle is and what they're used to so even for this particular client when she first came in we did a wet set however we did all 100% wet set lashes all over her natural lash line she felt like it was too much for her so this um, time around what we did was do 50% classics and then 50% um, volume closed fans and that gave her that light natural fluttery look that she was looking for and we also uh thinned out her volume fans or i'm sorry we also thinned out her closed fans just so it's closer to what a classic looks like but it gives a little bit more darkness and depth to her lashes and i wish yet again i had a um pictures picture of her eye open for this look but i wasn't able to catch her opening her eyes after the set was done because my camera is always dying on my phone so next time i'm gonna do better i promise but once we fill in all of her wet lashes we are going to dry set with bonder and that is pretty much it for this video Play with, I'm just a myself to keep playing.